everyone and welcome to GIR Golf. I am Jim and welcome to today's golf rules tip, an unplayable ball. And more specifically, an unplayable ball in the general area. You can see my golf ball here has come to an unfavorable, unfavorable position for me here on the golf course. And I want to note that we are in the general area of the golf course. For example, this ball is not out of bounds because we cannot declare a ball unplayable out of bounds. It also is not in a penalty area because we cannot declare a ball unplayable in a penalty area, but it is out in the general area between the tee and the green. Uh, we're also not in a no play zone or a environmental, environmentally sensitive area that maybe your golf course has. There again, uh, this rule does not apply, but this is just out in the general area between tee and green, balls in play. But sometimes we run across this where we got an unfavorable, unfavorable position. Uh, additionally, note that this ball is not inside a bunker, a green side or a fairway bunker. We will make future videos on unplayable balls in those areas because you do have options there, uh, but they are a little bit different than what we're going to do out here in the general area. So thanks so much for tuning in this video. We're going to get right to it with your options, talk to you about some strategy. It's going to be an exciting video. Be sure to push that subscribe button. That really helps us out here. Push that notification button and let's get to the action. So like I do with a lot of my golf rules videos, when we, we try to illustrate it best, we try to give a hypothetical situation. I want you guys to pretend that I am playing a par four and I've just hit my tee shot to this point right here, okay? And my golf hole today is actually the yellow pin in the distance on my practice putting green. And that's what we're using. So I'm laying shot number one right here, okay? So now, obviously I can play this ball as it lies but in this situation, if I was out playing a round of golf and this particular situation happened, I would declare the ball unplayable, even though it is a one-stroke penalty uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, I think it will help my score, the percentages of me uh, getting a better score on this hole, but more importantly, it would prevent an injury. Because in this situation here, if I try to uh, hit anywhere like this, obviously the ball is gonna bounce off the tree, go back to the camera, I could possibly hurt myself as well, not good. I could possibly stand here sideways. Uh, there again, I could injure myself. I could, and also with the, with the root here, it could deflect off there and be in a worse position than if I take a penalty and drop it in a better spot. So in this case, that's what I've decided to do. I'm gonna declare the ball unplayable. Uh, you don't have to get a permission from anybody to do this. As long as you're in the general area, you can declare a ball unplayable uh, with a one stroke penalty and there are three options and we're going to get into those next okay option number one for an unplayable ball in the general area is to take relief within two club lengths of where the ball is located not any near the hole so you notice i've got my driver in my hand which is the longest club in my bag except for my putter and that's what i'm going to use to take my measurements so I'm gonna mark out an area. I'm gonna put some tees down, then I'll spray some foot powder spray on the ground and you can see what kind of dropping area we have. Again, this will be a one stroke penalty, but option number one is to take a drop within two club lengths of where the ball is located. So now you can see with the uh, foot powder spray on the ground, you can see the size of the dropping area that I have when I take two club lengths in this situation. Uh, not near, not any nearer the hole. So I cannot be any closer to the hole where my ball is. So simply to, to do two club lengths, I simply take my driver and roll it over. So I'll demonstrate how I got to that point there. Put my club there, simply roll it over and you put a tee down. So there again, I put it here, roll it over, put a tee down, okay? Um, but it's very important to note that this option is where the ball is located. It's not the entry point of where it crossed the tree like some options are for other penalty areas. Uh, but this is actually where the ball is located. And I, and I bring this up because if this tree was had a lot of low branches, uh, like a, uh, some type of pine tree, for example, this happens a lot, this option may not get you out away from the tree. You may have to use one of the other options that we'll discuss. But the two club length option looks something like this. So put some tees down. And then you'll want to uh, get the club that you're going to use and, and think about where you want to hit this shot. So a lot of this depends on whether you're right or left handed, depends where the pin is located. But as I tell everybody, you know, it's important to survey your dropping area and decide where you want to hit this shot from to uh, lower your scores. Um, 
you want to survey what kind of lie you've got in the grass. You don't want to drop in a big, big hole or, or a piece of dirt or a bad lie if you can. So in this case, I've got quite a bit of options here. I, with my situation with this tree being, the limbs being up, okay, so me being right-handed, you know, I'd probably drop the ball somewhere over here. You know, I wouldn't want to drop over here too close to this tree. I'm going to come somewhere over here, okay? Uh, you may decide, you know, to drop over here, and that's fine. Uh, but there again, I would not want to drop in this area here because there's just dirt and some gravel. Uh, I wouldn't want to drop back here because the tree's in my way, of course. So get out, get it out of the, get everything out of the way for you. So I'm going to drop somewhere over here. So now I'm going to pick my golf ball up. And as I tell everybody on this channel, I'm going to look my ball over. I'm going to clean it because the rules of golf allow me to do that. If the ball looks like it's in good shape, it's not damaged or scuffed, I'm going to just use this ball. However, uh, the rules of golf allow me to put a new ball in play anytime I take a drop. So I could do that. I could go to my bag and get a different ball. In this case, my ball is in good shape. Uh, I'm going to make sure it's cleaned off. And then now I'm going to survey where I want to drop it, drop it at knee height. If the ball lands in the relief area and stays in there, then I'm good to go. So let's see how I do. Got to drop it at knee height. Okay, ball landed in the relief area, stayed in there. Now I can pick my tees up and hit shot number three here in our hypothetical situation. Remember, the tee shot, shot number one on this par four landed here because this is a one stroke penalty because I declared it unplayable. I just dropped shot two. Now I'm hitting shot three, trying to hit it up on the green. Maybe one putt, get out here with a par. So now that we talked about the first option for an unplayable ball, let's talk about option number two. Option number two is take a drop on the backward extension of where your golf ball is and where your golf hole is. And you can take a drop back as far as you would like and put a tee down and drop within one club length. Again, for a penalty of one stroke. Now with this option, um, you obviously are gonna lose some distance most likely. For example, in this video, I have had to come back uh, considerably, probably about 35 yards to where I feel like I can get enough loft on a club and get over this tree and increase my chances of uh, uh, getting up there on the green quickly as I can, try to get out of here with a par or worst case bogey. Now, often, like I mentioned, some trees, you may have to take this backward extension option because the two club lengths, your ball may be in the middle of that great big tree and it may not even get you out from underneath the tree. So this is an option sometimes that uh, you've got to take, you know. So remember this, this is an important one. So what I'm going to do is draw a line in my mind with my hand where my golf ball is and where the yellow golf hole is. And I'm going to put a tee down right in line with that and then we'll spray um, uh, some spray powder on the ground. And this will be just one club length. Uh, in an area not any closer to the hole from the spot that I choose. So there again, because I can choose back as far as I want, you know, pick the fairway if you can. Uh, don't, don't pick this point in the middle of a bunch of junk, you know, uh, be smart about where you choose to drop because I can go back as far as I would like, you know. So I'm gonna come in here, draw a line right here, put a T down right there. That's on the backward extension of where my golf ball is located and the golf hole I'm playing. And then now I'm gonna uh, put a one club length relief area, draw it on the ground and we'll take our drop. So now you can see on the backward extension, again, we get a drop within one club length of that point. You can see what the relief area uh, looks like when we spray some lines here on the ground, just one club length. So there again, I went up and I retrieved my golf ball uh, you can substitute a new ball, like we mentioned, at least clean the ball, drop it at knee height. But before you do that, survey where you want to hit the shot, give you the best chance for success. So I'm kind of looking around here, and I'm, I'm kind of surveying. The, the ground kind of goes this way, and the, we got kind of gets fluffy here. That gets below my feet a little bit too much. I honestly like to hit about right here. So I'm going to stand right here, drop it at knee height. Ball landed in, stayed in the relief area. I'm good to go, pick my tees up, 
uh, get up here, get in my pre-shot routine, try to hit a great shot up on this green, and even save par in this situation. Again, this is a one-stroke penalty with option two uh, here at the, uh, I'm working off the backward extension, so it's a one-stroke penalty. So with this hypothetical situation, my tee shot ended up at the tree. I declared it unplayable. I just dropped uh, number two. I'm hitting shot three right here in this hypothetical par four and try to get over this tree and uh, get it up on the green. So our last option when it comes to declaring a ball unplayable is to take a drop at the side of the last stroke, or in my case, uh, go back to the teeing area and re-tee the ball and hit shot three back here because in my situation, my tee shot ended up up against the tree, my shot one. Uh, now, it's worth noting that, you know, in my case, I come back to the tee. If you were playing a par five, for example, your tee shot ended up good and you hit your second shot to that tree, the side of your last stroke would not be way back here at the tee, it would be your uh, last stroke, which would be out in the general area. So you would go back to that area, uh, to the best of your knowledge, best estimate the best you can, find where you struck the ball, maybe find a divot you left, uh, put a tee down, and take a drop within one club length at that spot. Now here, because I hit it from the teeing ground, I come back to the tee, and I tee it up just like I Basically, you start the hole over except hitting shot three back here. So I'll tee it up anywhere I want. Get my club and hit shot three back here. Of course, this is the least desirable option because we lose all of our distance. You know, it's much better. Uh, in my case, that two club length option worked out really well because I didn't lose all my distance and I hit shot three up there. My chances of making par or worst case bogey are or extremely high. Here, bogey is a good result and double bogey really is in play because I'm hitting three way back here. So this is really a last resort option to lose your distance. Uh, but sometimes it may happen where it's not worth the injury. Um, uh, you may need to come back to the, to the tee even in an unplayable ball. Thank you so much for tuning into our channel. We appreciate all of you for uh, taking your time to to watch these videos. Hopefully this video has educated you on what your options are for an unplayable ball in the general area. Be on the lookout for future videos from us. Uh, we love doing these videos. We're gonna keep them coming. Uh, remember to smile often, have fun. God loves you. See you next time.